this movie is amazing. It's, uh, you, you've probably heard this before, but it is definitely a, a love letter to movies, movie going, movie making, the unsung heroes that make movies. Television, LA. There's a lot there. But what I would really want to do with you guys is, because I feel like all four of us are big movie fans, is let's revel in our love of movies for a second, okay? What's the movie that you grew up with that made you obsessed with movies? What was the first movie that got you obsessed? East of Eden. All right, James Dean. Well, the first film that I remember seeing was uh, the black and white original King Kong with my dad downtown and bursting into tears and <laughs> mm -hmm. falling in love with movies at that point. But when I, you know, got to become an actor, it was watching that very vulnerable James Dean in East of Eden who just blew me away. Yeah. Blew me away. The first movie I remember being my favorite movie that I watched like 50 times over uh, was Robin Hood Men in Tights. <laughs> and I was like five and it was kind of inappropriate of a movie for a five-year-old to watch every day. That's but really I funny. loved it. it was, That's really funny. For me, it was the drive-in. We would see films at the drive-in mm -hmm. early days. And it was, it was the ones that made me cry. It was Gargantuan, Gargantuans? Gargantuans. Uh -huh. It was a good gargantuan, bad gargantuan. Don't remember it. No. It's you. It's <laughs> only Quentin would know about it. And the good one has to sacrifice himself to take out the bad one. Tears, and then I went straight from that to Butch and Sundance. Mm. And then the ending. Tears again. Mm. There's a great moment in the film where your character Sharon sees her face and name on a poster, on a marquee, and on a big screen. Do you remember that moment for you guys, like when the first time you saw your name or face, mm. and was that a big moment? I do. It was Parenthood, and on the Warner Brothers lot, there was a big poster of me, and I stood there for hours and had my mother take. <laughs> 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 Sir, you're gonna have to leave. Good on you for admitting. <laughs> <laughs> there was a poster of Pan Am in Times Square, and I remember like I had just gotten to America, and now I'm in Times Square, and I'm like 30 feet high up there, and it was so. I remember asking someone to take a picture of me. <laughs> I was like, oh, could you, could you take a picture of me? Like, I'm going to stand right here. And I kept cropping out the post and I kept having to be like, no, I need it. I need that, all of that in there. That's the point of the picture. And they're like, why? And I was like, I just need it in there, please. That's sweet. That's a little Sharon Tate going to see yeah, film. Is there a classic movie that you would be sad to admit right now you've never seen? Gone I've with seen. the Wind. What? You've never seen Gone I've never seen Gone with the Wind either. Are you serious? You I guys have never well, seen Oh, my God. You have an excuse. I don't have an excuse. <laughs> Yeah. Gone with the Wind or Sound of Music, I've never seen. I have I never figure, seen Sound of Music. What? <laughs> I figure, have you seen it? I've never seen it. Like a thousand wow. times. I, I remember when we did Wolf of Wall Street, you would get angry at me all the time. Every time I'd mention any movie I hadn't seen, he'd be like, how have you not seen Citizen Kane? How can you work in this industry and not have seen Citizen Kane? I'm like, I just got here to this industry. <laughs>